Lightning's fair work, but you can't take it all so seriously, I always tell my mates. We're pulling rocks out of the ground, not building spaceships. You know, I believe we've got the best mining team ever. All citizens are welcome and encouraged. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great. But, yeah, unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless... Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Nah, well, well, if I'm being up front, maybe a little. But I promise, it's harmless. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Okay, glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Yeah, don't you think I want to? Corporate sets the contracts and they're not giving out anymore, so we work with what we've got. Something to do with insurance, benefits and uh, other liabilities, so I don't make the rules. Of course not. I'll pay you out of my own pocket. I care about my miners, even if corporate doesn't understand our struggles down here. I'm willing to put in some sacrifices to help, that's just the kind of guy I am. If I had the credits to buy all the equipment myself, I would. But this is the next best thing. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. Uh, Be advised to secure loose articles and find stable ground or remain seated in the event of unforeseen tremors. Detonation occurs in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I can see you're serious about helping me. That all you mind is really gonna bolster our numbers. Great. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Our director of mining operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment. And unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. You don't think I've tried? Like I said, the guy is literally useless without his assistant. I don't even know if he knows how to actually use a computer. And everything Deimos does is so mired in bureaucracy because of their contracts with the UC. Which means, unfortunately, we need to do all the things by the book if we want them done at all. We just need you to take the job until we get the approval signed. Then you can quit, keep it, or do whatever. It's not as bad as it sounds. 
Worst case scenario, you may have to go fetch some stuff for him and go over his messages. It'll be easy, I promise. Now hold on, it's not that easy. You'll need to apply for it like anyone else. Head to the Deimos Star Yard's office up in orbit to fill out the application. It's where that job is posted. Come back and see me when you've done that, and we'll talk about how to secure the position for you. You're jumping through a lot of hoops to get those miners the equipment that they need. In order to avoid injury, please report any spills or unsafe conditions on the upper level to the Sidonia Department of Public Works. We got lots of stuff. Just ask. Hey, you looking for anything in particular? Happy to help. Take a look at what I've got. Come back anytime.
colonists used Deimos starships to venture into space. When the UC defended itself from the Crimson Fleet, House Varun, and the Free Star Collective, it was Deimos's state-of-the-art technology that was her sword. The United Colonies and Deimos Star Yard, a historic partnership bringing an even brighter future. Deimos builds some of the toughest ships in the settled systems. That's probably why the UC Navy continues to contract with them to this day. You should be honored to step foot in here. Ah, it's nice to see someone not in uniform. They can be so touchy, you know. <laughs> Always eager to point out the slightest problem. Oh, please tell me you aren't secretly some high-ranking general, are you? You serve with the UC? Th they actually, don't answer. We sell to everyone. I assume you're here for a ship. Either that, or you are really, really lost. Mr. Henderson handles sales, but if you want to know anything about our ships, I'm your gal. I mean, they're very good, obviously. But these days, everyone's using the same core tech, right? Oh, shit. Do you know you can be lectured on being too honest? <laughs> right, right. Uh... What makes Demo special, though, is the package. We've been building ships forever, and the way we put it all together, well, it's, it's really good. In a, I'm gonna murder my enemies sort of way. Hmm? Huh? The UC Navy. I repaired just about every class of vessel there is. I even repaired Henderson's longsword once or twice. I swear that man has a guardian angel with him full time. <laughs> or three. Deimos hired me because I know every rivet and microchip on these ships. So if Henderson gets stumped on something, it's showtime. Oh yeah? <laughs> well, I take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It can be pretty hard working with these no-nonsense military types. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I probably shouldn't say things like that, at least not so loudly. I've already been written up twice this week. I can only take so many lectures. <sighs> Man, I could really use a drink. Yeah, but who thinks to themselves, Man, I could really use a nice glass of water after a hard day. <laughs> What I could really use is Jake's Stout, from Jake's Bar in New Atlantis, of course. Or The Well, to be more specific. Oh, I used to love that place when I lived there. I mean, Jake isn't friendly, but he could make a pretty good drink. Say, you're the traveling type, right? Would you mind grabbing me one of Jake's Stouts? Awesome! Thank you so much! I eagerly await your return.
If you have your own ship, we're always looking for bulk resources. The Star Yards have negotiated a set price with the Trade Authority, twice the market rate. Once you have the requested resources in your cargo hold, just return to me. We'll pay you the agreed fee and we'll send the porters to pick up the cargo. If you deliver the full amount, <laughs> there's a bonus in it for you too. Most contractors either represent mining companies or are miners themselves. But really, we don't care where you get the resources, so however you procure them is your own affair. As a first-time contractor, I am required by law to let you know that every Star Yard offers the same terms. But obviously, you should deal with us. Depending on your cargo hold size, you may need to make several trips to fulfill the order. So what we need is... Iron. The request is for a large quantity, 5,000 units of it. Excellent. This invoice has the details. Let me see your manifest. We'll unload that from your ship right now. We're gonna make sure you get that job. Trust me, this is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. Okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoe in Believe me, if you knew Tia, you wouldn't worry. I'll be honest, she's so overworked and behind in her tasks that I don't even think she knows there are any applications. That's a good point, though. Once your application is in, I'll ping her and ask her to take a look to see if any applications came in for me. That should get her to finally take a look. See yours, and if all goes well, she'll hire you on the spot. I happen to know that the HR director, Tia, and the other women in the office tend to go to the Broken Spear for happy hour at five every evening. That's your window of opportunity. I know it might feel shady, but think of it more like uncorking an unnecessary bottleneck. It's gonna help us all. By the way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which Tia thinks is pretty clever. She gets talkative during happy hour and loud. Surprised everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck.
know Deimos makes the majority of the ships for the UC Navy. If you ask me, that's a hell of a lucrative contract. Red and orange. Everything is red and orange as far as the eye can see. Don't worry. We're gonna make sure you get that job. Trust me, this is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. And I can say that I've got some good news for you. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. <laughs> Congratulations. Not really, and neither should you. Either those applications were old and those people have moved on, or as soon as you disappear after this, they'll get to hiring again. They won't. I'll tell you a little secret. No one really cares too much. I'm not saying anyone's bad at their job, just that everyone's too busy and overworked to care. Seriously, no worries, mate. I've been here long enough to know how they operate up there. Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his terminal messages, you'll see my request. All you've got to do is approve that request, and we'll be right on with it. Then, we can get that new equipment and show corporate how it's done. To engage with non personnel They found another new freshwater deposit in one of the mines. So much better than paying those ridiculous import prices. Sometimes I feel like these mines just run themselves. I like to think that's thanks to me. Oh, you, you're finally back. I feel like you've been gone for ages. Do you know how tough this job is without an assistant? Ah, yes. Sorry for the confusion. I thought you were my previous assistant. Forgot about the new one. You. Anyhow. Ah, they wouldn't say how you did on your application, but they did say no one else was available. Let's hope for the best, shall we? Well enough, chit-chat. Let's get to work. Not quite. 
I need you to do something much more important before you get to that. I'm expecting a personal shipment. I'm not sure why, but the last time this happened, my assistant ended up speaking to Governor Hurst about it. Now, run off and get it for me. What's in the shipment? A good assistant knows it's not their place to ask. Bad assistants get fired. Mediocre assistants get... You know what? I forgot where I was going with this, but it doesn't matter. Just get it for me, will you? Also, I don't quite remember. But it is important, that I know. I could, but we'd be wasting valuable time, so no. Oh, do they cover nothing in orientation anymore? No, strike that. We got rid of orientation, didn't we? Anyway, it's not important. Your job is easy. You do what I ask, and that's pretty much it. I'm surprised you've forgotten that steer. All right, uh, no assistant. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I don't know. At first I thought I had multiple assistants that rotated in and out, but... Uh, it seems I've only ever had one at a time, and they all just stopped showing up. I believe my last assistant was supposed to get me some coffee, but never came back. I honestly wasn't listening to whatever they were crying about. Have a good one. You simply won't find a politician who works harder for his people than I do. I couldn't be prouder than to govern the UC's first major space colony. Well then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? Heard of you. Of course, how could I not? Interesting. It appears Governor Hurst is well aware of our exploits. If by exploits, you mean what your friend is doing for Sidonia, and not your work for Constellation, Ms. Morgan, you're right on the money. So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble, unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. I know you're not really Mr. Brennan's assistant. I don't know exactly what you're up to, but I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. So let's cut to brass tacks. What can I do for you? Word travels fast around Sidonia. It's my business to know these things. Frankly, I'm not worried about you. As long as you play your cards right, it'll stay that way. Oh, I know exactly what happened to that shipment. However, I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense backlog of unpaid taxes. Then again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you, but I'm going to need a favor first, since you seem to be adept at keeping quiet. See, my personal spacecraft was stolen, likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. I need someone to find it, then I need that someone to destroy it, discreetly. I need tight lips on this. Oh, it's a, a few reasons. I don't want this mired in their process. Also, it's a bit of an embarrassment for a sitting governor to lose a ship, so I'd rather that not get out. I'm sure you understand. Well, this is a tricky situation indeed. Not to get bogged down in details, but assuming this is the work of pirates, it's best to destroy the ship and everybody on board. Makes it cleaner for insurance purposes. Then we have an agreement. I'll send you to the ship's last known location. Remember, not a word of this leaves this room. Watch out for the robots.
I'm not bothering you. Get up and get going. We've got the stars to explore. such as yourself. I don't care what you do with it. Rip it up, use it for blackmail, whatever. I'll give it to you. So long as we get to keep this ship. Deal? Come on. You really need me to spell it out for you? 
Hers is a politician. Politicians are susceptible to blackmail. Or if you really want to see fireworks on Mars, I'm sure there is someone in a position of authority in Sidonia that you could turn that into as evidence of corruption. Not like it's going to paint a target on our backs any bigger than we already have. It's sure to stir up trouble for local politics. Seems like a win to me. Smart choice. Now, I suggest leaving before our reinforcements show up. I can't guarantee they'll be as accommodating as we are. Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest. for you to go, isn't it? You picked the wrong fight. And that, my friend, is how we do things on Jemison.
Might as well take what we can. Now you can see why you see Marines that get sent here. Consider this posting a punishment. has always been my favorite planet. That's a pretty serious accusation. I assume you have proof of these alleged illicit activities? Well, he's a governor. If what you say is true and you have evidence against him, he'll be charged with felonies. I assume he'd step down ahead of this and turn himself in, but if not, he'd be arrested. Then there'll be a formal trial back in New Atlantis. If convicted, he'll likely serve jail time, plus any applicable fines. I'm sure they'd have to find a new governor. It's pretty rare for something like this to happen. So this is all an educated guess. Hmm. Let me take a look at that. Well, this doesn't look good for Hearst. I'll say that. You did the right thing by coming to me. I'll take it from here. The United Colonies thanks you for your vigilance. For doing the right thing? No. This action benefits the entire city. The reward is that we get justice against a corrupt politician. Tell you what, I'll do you a favor. Go ahead and finish whatever deal you had with Hearst. I'll wait to take care of him until after that. Just don't let him know we spoke about this. I don't want him running, and you don't want to lose whatever leverage you've got with him. 
I can tell you, Sidonia appreciates it. This is a courtesy reminder that despite low gravity on Mars, the miners pretty much run the lower levels. It's still likely to result in injury or death. Please exercise caution to your balcony edges. Please stay clear of the exit ramps. Just buzzing through or here to stay? Welcome back. I'm eager to hear what you have to say. I sure hope you've taken care of our little, uh, problem. Did you, uh, take care of my little problem? I'm already giving you what you want, per our agreement. Hmm. Tell you what, here's a little extra to keep you happy. But you should know, if I hear any rumors about this, I'll know exactly who to hold accountable. Don't get greedy. I'm willing to resolve this amicably. I suggest you do the same. Good. I'll release Mr. Brennan's shipment to you as promised. I'll even defer his taxes as a little bonus. You really helped me out of this bind. Don't take this the wrong way, but... I hope I'm never in need of your help like this again. The system literally uses quantum synergy software to talk to the hardware. What if that function? I'm a bit busy at the moment. Lots of business operations to operate and all that my shipment do you have it yet no was it difficult i guess i never thought about it since you i mean my previous assistants just showed up with it whenever i asked ah yes i'll take that now um i've probably got some important messages i need you to take care of for me while i uh um, attend to some other important matters at hand. You'll need my password. Remember, if you reply to anything, try to mimic my style and speech patterns. You know, for consistency. Oh, you're done? taking Hank so long. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. 
I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted and he was already on his way out before I could stop him. But it shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. I could use some help with this. Oh, wait. I didn't say that. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe he got hit by pirates. Maybe he's out of fuel, drifting. Maybe he just stopped for chunks. Anyway, something's up, and it doesn't seem good. Since you've proven yourself so skilled in so many ways, I was hoping to call on you for it. So, you in? Hank's been a difficult employee, to be honest. More interested in showing off than doing good work. He's aggressive. He starts shit with the other employees. He's often late for work and so on. So this came up and I figured maybe he's trying to turn things around. Even though I was reluctant, I wanted to give him a chance. Now I'm questioning if it was a good idea. Oh, thanks. This is a huge help. You'll be happy to know I actually carved out some of the budget so I can pay you for all of your assistance. We don't currently have much information to go on. I'd suggest checking with Sidonia ship services over at the starport first. They'd be the last person I know that's seen Hank. It's all I've got without sending you all the way to Gagarin to retrace his steps. Good luck. Have you checked your air filters lately? The city of Sidonia recommends checking your filtration unit every two weeks for old, faulty, or improperly fitted filters. Martian dust is a leading cause of respiratory illness. Remember, keep it breathing so you don't get wheezy. Authority is always buying. Kiosk right here for you. Hmm. Let's see here. Hank. Hank. No one by that name. Oh, wait. Here we go. Henry Farrell. Hank's gotta be his nickname. <laughs> yeah, he's been through here. Took a ship and departed. Actually, it looks like he came back into Mars space recently. But he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside the city a ways. Nothing out of the ordinary. Got a ship and left. Tried and failed to get a discount on fueling up. That's about it. I've been doing this job for years, and I can't think of many reasons someone would come in for landing, but divert somewhere else. I've seen people try to offload some sort of contraband that way, but usually they don't do a flyby of the port before doing so. And scans would have picked it up, so... I don't know. You're gonna have to ask me yourself, if you manage to track him down, that is. Yeah, something seems off about this. You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got crossed. Anyway, good luck, and good day to you.
hope I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. I wonder what's taking Hank so long. That's a little suspicious. Why would he do that? Moreover, why wouldn't he return with the goods? Something's definitely up. I asked around while you were gone. Some of his co-workers mentioned he's been a little extra, well, Hank lately. In particular, he was cursing up a storm about work and about his co-workers. Said some things that make me think his intentions here were not pure. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the broken spear. He frequently goes there to drink. We need to get to the bottom of this. Well, see if you can get him to admit it first. And if he does, see if you can get it back from him. If he resists, or otherwise won't tell you what we need to know, then we may have to turn him in. I trust that Sidonia security will bust him good, but he may not tell him where our stuff is. So see if you can at least get that out of him first. Hey, I'm not going to tell you how to do your job. I will say that I won't officially tell you to do anything to him. But he's been surly as of late and always had a weird chip on his shoulder. So if it comes to that, you do what you need to do to protect yourself. Uh, I don't know. Hank's kind of a weird guy. He never fit in with the team. Tended to act a little sketchy. Always figured he'd be done after one contract. Guy like Hank? Maybe he's just looking to sell it on the black market and earn an extra paycheck. Can't say for sure. Remember, it's most important that we find out where the equipment is. We can always deal with Hank later. We've got to do it before we lose track of it, before it gets sold, moved, or worse. And we've got to hope to whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't jettisoned into space. We've got our work cut out for us. Good luck. The United Colonies Department of Labor would like to remind you that working too much overtime is harmful to your health. And any injuries or mistakes you incur while suffering the effects of... Problem or something? Ha! <laughs> Just messing with you. Uh, what? Standing around pointing a cutter at some rocks all day? It sucks, but it's easy, so whatever. Uh, way better than my last job at Chunks, though. Jack, I'm gonna need a stiff drink tonight after the day. My story? My story is that I don't like people asking what my story is. <laughs> I'm just messing! But really, I don't want to talk about myself. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first. Suit yourself? Uh, anyway, I seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? Huh. Okay, you got me. Yeah, I took it. Want to know why? I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. I can't afford to break it. So, screw Deimos. Screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment's the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. No. Maybe. I don't know. You know what? Who cares? It's my plan, and I'm already doing it. How could I? <laughs> you do it too if your co-workers never took you seriously. I'm always showing them how much better I am than them, and all they do is laugh and talk behind my back. They think I don't hear them, but I do. They say I'm a show-off, that I'm not good at what I do. So screw them. This whole planet sucks. Everyone here is a friggin' loser. Shit. You're right. Fine. You got me. 
You say I take you to the goods and we bring it back. You can even say you found it. Just don't turn me in, alright? Relax, hotshot. I ain't gonna shoot you in the back, if that's what you're worried about. Just, uh, follow me. We're going outside. If it's any consolation, I don't trust this man either. I'll keep an eye on him. Excuse me. have a secret about something they call the Hammers. I overheard one of them talking about it at the bar. Layla, I think it was. I kind of feel bad about taking this stuff. Man, I'm impressed that you figured it all out on your own. I thought I was being real careful. It was so easy, right? Boss man Trevor's so loud sometimes, you know? And I got good hearing, so I overheard you all talking about this equipment. I knew what it meant to everyone and how screwed they'd all be without it. And then Trevor just lets me go pick it up because he thought I was showing initiative. <laughs> it, it, it really was uh, the perfect plan. Bad. I bet I could have made bank on selling this stuff. What do you think? 500 grand? Cool hill, maybe? But where would I even have sold it? Not like I would have been able to march pallets of mining equipment down to Jane's without anyone noticing. Probably best for returning it, because what a nightmare that would have been trying to offload it. And trying to destroy it all would have been another huge pain in the ass. It's mostly metal, right? <laughs> Was I thinking? I guess I could have flown somewhere remote and buried it, dump it all in one of the old mines and forget about it. Huh, but then you would have been real screwed, huh? Good thing you found me before I did that, am I right? Almost there, all right. I had to park my ship off a ways so they wouldn't find it right away. <laughs> I'm sure you get it. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Didn't think I'd be going all the way back so soon. At least you won't have to walk all the way back, eh? I mean, you know, maybe we'll take the ship back to port and let someone else unload it. Save ourselves the hassle of hauling it all back ourselves. Anyway, uh, see it just up ahead?
All right. That's enough. Now face me, so I don't have to shoot you in the back. No. We got a problem we can't resolve. Namely, you know too much. Well, when you say it like that, maybe you got a point. Damn it! You're right. What the hell am I doing? This is freaking stupid, even for me. This whole idea, I, I barely thought it through. I, I just acted because it seemed like my only shot. I really don't want to hurt anyone. I'm in too deep and I don't know what to do. I know I don't deserve it, but will you help me? Please? What? Just because I'm a miner, I can't have nice things? It was my old man's. He gave it to me when he got his new one. It's older and it's got some issues, but I've been trying to fix it up in my spare time. This was my first big test run of it. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't if I were in your shoes. I can start by giving you my gun to prove I won't try to kill you. That's about all I can really do. For real, you made me see what I'm doing is wrong. I don't like it, but you might be onto something. If I come clean, maybe it'll go easy on me, especially if you tell them what happened here. Fine, I'll do it. It's the right thing to do. And hey, at least I'll probably void my contract. Gotta look on the bright side, I guess. That was a smart decision. We couldn't simply let him walk away from that situation. straight and narrow, and there won't be anything to worry about. It's true. I stole the brand new mining equipment that my boss ordered for us. But now that I've had some sense talked into me, I realize how shitty that is. I know it was a dick move, and I'll serve whatever sentence you've got for me. You can confirm this? Hey, what the hell? I thought you were gonna tell them to go easy on me, not make it sound worse. You did the right thing turning him in. This guy's always seemed like trouble, and now we know for sure. It helps that he admitted to his crimes, but the punishment is sure to be harsh for this, especially with his intention of harming everyone. Thanks again. All right, let's get you booked and locked up. You've already done enough to mess things up for yourself. Don't make it any harder. Damn it! No, I should have killed you when I had the chance! about attempted homicide? You want to tell me more after you get situated in that cell, punk? Careful near the railings on the upper levels. It's a long way down. Looking forward to hearing all about this. Any luck? Yeah, I heard. 
Booth left me a message saying that Hank stole the goods, but then he had a change of heart and turned himself in. Crazy. I knew Hank was problematic, but I never suspected he'd do something like this. At least he had the good sense to come clean about it before any damage was done. I'll take it from here and get the equipment sorted out. Here's the credits I promised. I'm also throwing in some ore to repay you for what you got us before, and then some. We'll be able to recoup it in no time with these new tools. Thanks for all your help. We couldn't have done it without you.